Happy Monday Stingers. Today is an amazing day for solitude, maybe to dive into your spiritual practice, be by yourself, or maybe go into some artistic uh, you know, endeavors with the moon, maybe you're trying to Neptune. Definitely you want to be by yourself. This is, you know, giving 12th house, um, you know, solitude, um, alone time type of vibes. So I definitely would go in that direction and don't let people, you know, just force their way into your space. Also, you know, turn off your phone, don't answer it, and don't apologize for not answering it or being available to everybody all the time. Some of you are just way too available. Like I'm, I'm getting messages right now. It's like some of you, you have the door swung open all the time and anybody can come in anybody can call you anybody can text you and demand that you respond right away like today is not that vibe it's like go read a nice book take your bubble bath go to a cinema by yourself paint draw listen to your favorite music or you know just sit quietly you know and that's okay i'm gonna go see what the tarot cards have to say for you today december 11th so even though the transits, you know, we have that moon trining uh, Neptune, nice day for solitude and peace. Let's see what the cards have to say, because the cards, <laughs> oops, they always have some other message, honey. They do not care about the transits. And some of these messages are not for all of you guys, obviously. You're all different types of Scorpios. Some of you are fire, air, earth, water. So you take it as you may. Here we go, guys. We got the Six of Wands, overcoming obstacles. Oh, yes. So a lot of you guys are overcoming a lot of things that happened recently. There was probably a lot of disruption for many of you. And um, and now you're overcoming it and you are just chilling. You're just taking your time, taking time out for yourself. Yeah, this really did a number. Maybe some of you have lost somebody. You broke up. You had to disconnect. You had to run away, honey, or whatever you had to do to, to clean up the whole situation, get it, purge it out. But a lot of you are going through a little bit of stress um, right now, a distress, I want to say. We got the Queen of Pentacles and the Death. Let me put these here in this order. And so, you know, there is a rebirth with this. There is a there, there is, you know, when when things happen with the towers fall and you overcome something, you feel like you're overcoming something, like I got this, I got this, I'm just gonna chill, I'm just gonna let things happen. You know, there is that feeling of heartache with the three here. Uh, but also we see that we got the queen of pentacles like you're going to bounce back financially <laughs> you're going to bounce back okay oh yes look at this the ten of pentacles now it's not going to be easy though you're going to have a bounce back you're going to have that rebirth but you know it's not going to be it's not if there's going to be challenges people are going to be talking running their mouths i wouldn't pay them any attention whatsoever okay go into yourself go into your spiritual spirituality do what you're supposed to do. Let me get one more. Yep. The Eight of Wands. So things are looking up for you. They're looking up for you. You just got to go through this rough period. That's what it is. And yeah, it does hurt. It does. That's just life, honey. What are you going to do? 